more than just a simple walking stick. It's a pillar of Basque culture. When someone from the Basque country offers a maquila, it's really important to them. It's as if they were offering the whole region. Our ancestors said that it was the equivalent of the Legion of Honor for the Basque country. We're lucky to have customers coming to us with 100 to 130 year old maquilas to be repaired. We take pride in working with the sticks that our ancestors made. For more than two centuries, one family in La Rousseau has been producing maquila, the traditional Basque walking stick. A wooden cane adorned with engraved metal, it's an object that's been handed down from generation to generation since the 10th century. Each one is unique and takes three days to craft. Here you have the part of the maquila that you never see. It's known as the tip. This is the weapon, in fact. The maquila is a walking stick, but it can also be used for self-defense. People used to go hiking and would come across wild beasts or robbers, and sometimes they needed to defend themselves. They hit first of all with the base of the stick, then they would unscrew this to finish the job off. On the next bench along, silversmith Jean-Louis Bergara is working on the metal plates that decorate both ends of the stick. There's a ferrule, or a metal cap, that's put on the upper part of the maquila. The spike of the stick will be attached to this. The nub then just screws onto the tip and becomes part of the ferrule. The ferrule is rolled around a cylinder and then it's hand chiseled with small punches. Just like this, over and over again. It's a technique that you see in Tunisia or in Morocco when they make trays. It's the same technique, the same craft. So here I'm trying to engrave a butterfly. With a dry tip, we follow the line of the drawing. And with this chisel, we carve the drawing that's been done. This precise and delicate work has helped forge the reputation of the maquila. They've been given to some of the world's most famous people, Pope John Paul II, Charlie Chaplin, and all the presidents of the French Republic. If these sticks have garnered such prestige, it's also thanks to the medlar wood that's used to make them. In the springtime, Charles Bergara wanders through the forests of the Basque country looking for this increasingly rare timber. My ancestors chose medlar wood because they needed a wood that was solid and wouldn't break. In 20, 30 or 40 years' time, it still won't break. For nearly 80 years, he's been using a very special technique, scarification. With this homemade tool, he draws a pattern directly onto living wood. These tools are made by us, and this type of tool was invented by me when I was 12 years old. I saw that there was a way of doing things better and quicker. As the wood grows and heals, the pattern forms naturally. These branches will be gathered next winter and will then dry out for 15 years in Begara's storerooms. This medlar wood will be handed on to the next generation and will eventually become maquilas. There's one big disadvantage, and that's that it takes years and years to grow. For example, this one here takes between 10 and 20 years. For a long time now, we've worked with a maquila made by my grandfather. And now I'm leaving maquilas to be worked on by the generations that come after me. On the other side of the border, in the Spanish Pyrenees, a distant cousin of the Bergara family has broken with tradition. Four years ago, he came up with a 21st century stick, a sleek cane which combines craftsmanship with the latest technology. 
We work with aluminium, which is used in the aerospace industry. Because it's a big industry in the Basque country, based around helicopter engines and aviation and so on. So I wanted to take these industrial processes, but adapt them and then apply them to this world of craftsmanship. In this maquila, carbon fibre and Kevlar have replaced wood. They were all designed on a computer and modelled in 3D. And this is the digital engraver that replaces the human hand. Here we're using the diamond point setting. It's much finer and more subtle in the details. Conchua Belgara's latest creation moves even further away from tradition. This time he's daring to use colour. I had the idea of asking Pyrenean artists if they wanted to create these maquila, but entirely in silver plate. And so we ended up with this. Here it is, their version of the maquila. It's beautiful.